6,995 pounds as you see it here today. The Octane 273 back for another season at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Now with the industry's best two plus three year warranty, this is at the potential upper end reaches of half ton towability. And there's gonna be some people whose heads explode when I say that, understand, it depends on the specific capacities of your half ton. Now, before we were Halet RV, we were Halet Auto and now we are technically Halet Auto and RV, and towing is something that is very near and dear to our hearts. And again, most of our people that work here actually go RVing, and we're very familiar with towing. We want to make sure that your towing experience is safe and comfortable, so before you pull the trigger on anything, feel free to give us a call, and let's crack open those tow guides to make sure anything, this or otherwise, is going to be a safe pairing for your vehicle and your camping lifestyle. One of the things you folks like that we do for you is we like to show RVs in travel mode. Usually that means the slides close, but right here, in a toy hauler, it kind of means like with the, uh, you know, the bed lifts up out of the way so you can have a look at this wide open garage access point here. We're going to get a better look at this from the other direction in just a moment. But first, I want to also point out the fact you've got this cool little uh, ramp stair like uh, travel mount right here so that you don't have those things laying around on the floor potentially scratching up your linoleum or sliding into your cabinets and banging everything up. And really one of the uh, cool things about pretty much any toy hauler is its ability to be very multifunctional. For instance, you know, obviously you can uh, open this up into a living space. We're gonna see that in just a minute here. Uh, you've also got the handy extra sleeping capacity here. And what's nice is these aren't just kid sleepers. These are adult sized sleepers, each of them rated for up to 600 pounds. So if you actually have Adult guests, big kids, cargo, whatever, you can actually put that stuff on here. And speaking of travel mode, even though that was kind of a couple topics ago, one of the things I want to point out is, uh, I mean, obviously you've got all this wide open loading space here. You can see that you've got the dovetail for easy loading, so you're not going to rip the pipes off the bottom of your bike or anything. Plenty of tie downs. Those heavy duty tie downs are actually reinforced directly to uh, chassis reinforcement. But notice uh, that you can ride with the benches horizontally or vertically to really maximize your loading height or loading width, whatever you need. And once again, as a testament to the flexibility of these models, we have not just good loading space, not good uh, sleeping space, well, not only good sleeping space, but uh, also great living area here. Once the toys are unloaded, what's cool about this RV is that it kind of just becomes like a rear dinette couples camper. But it's really good for couples. And frankly, it's really good for entertaining friends. Like, you could have six adults sitting back here, or very comfortably you can convert it to more of a four-seat scenario if you fold down the uh, center sort of, uh, you know, uh, truck armrest console kind of flip down seats right here it gives you a nice separation Four adults can have some really big independent space plenty of room for a big fun friendly meal uh, plenty of room to play a bunch of cards and still have some drinks or some chips or pretzels or whatever on the table and I've slid this table all the way over the side to really drive home the point that it is totally free floating if you want to take it uh, on the ground level, under the patio on and you want to put it out here on the porch where I'm at you can do all of those things um, also, whether it's this table or the main kitchen counter that we're approaching right here, they all have a sealed edge press membrane material on them. So if you do spill a drink or anything like that, no big deal, especially since this is a completely carpetless, ventless, easy cleaning floor plan. That is pretty common, to, to be fair, in any zero slide trailer like this, but, I mean, it gets the job done. Um, as we uh, approach here, it's easy to miss... There is some LED accent lighting under the uh, countertop there, just above that convection microwave oven. You'll also find plywood drawers on this model, and they do actually extend further than that. They extend the, basically the full depth of the countertop. Um, I just didn't want to fully block off the space below the sink there, so you actually have a place for some dish soaps and handy things like that. Uh, notice that the sink has dual covers, just like these are the same cover scenarios that you find in like an Eagle. Uh, you've got the, uh, like, bamboo chef grade cutting board style, and then the roll away, uh, dish drying rack, which is extremely, extremely handy. As we look up, it's kind of important to mention this has the exact same type of cabinet construction you find in a Jayco North Point full-time living luxury fifth wheel. Uh, it's all pocket screwed, and since this RV is a true toy hauler, it's wide body, it's extra tall, they were able to expand those cabinets, uh, upwards and basically double your vertical storage capacity. Now, anybody who builds a floor plan like this, the entertainment is always kind of a trick because there's only so many places you can mount it. 
um, just above the uh, uh, refrigerator is where we'd have our TV hookups. And then over here you see our uh, Bluetooth stereo system. It does have an HDMI input though with a powered USB plug. So if you want to expand your entertainment to be like streaming stick friendly, you can. And then down here, this kind of throws people off like, is that a second TV uh, hookup right there? That's weird, right? Well, it's actually, basically it's a, it's a backup camera mount. But we're going to call this like a, a security monitor camera. So the idea here is if you're going down the road and you hit yourself a oh, wicked bump and you want to make sure that your motorcycles are still standing upright or your kayaks haven't slid around and banged into anything, you, you get the idea. Your cargo hasn't shifted. You can have an in-garage camera view of exactly what's happening here and a quick look with everything uh, mostly closed up. As we are looking up, I want to point out the fact this thing has just got a ton of lights in it. Um, the, uh, they're really tall, so any overhead lights on the ceiling are going to have a light switch to activate them. That's true in the bedroom as well, which is really nice. But they could also all be individually clicked off if you are so inclined. Um, over here, more overhead cabinet storage. They just didn't want to let anything go to waste. And I like how they have the double lights below that even. it They spend more money lighting it up in here than a lot of brands. That's one of the reasons this is not the least expensive. Jayco's are rarely the least expensive or the lightest weight trailer out there. They always have things like a heavier frame or heavier decking or something like that. And uh, it all kind of adds up. But that's part of the reason they also have that best in class 2 plus 3 year warranty that... Frankly, nobody else is matching in this category. From here, we're gonna take a peek at the bathroom. Uh, however, just to give you a perspective, I'm actually standing in the bedroom door looking out at the hallway door. This is a dual entry bath. So, uh, you know, if you're, uh, if someone is sleeping on those rear beds or the, you know, the conversion beds that we already looked at, it's very easy for them to get in and out of the bathroom without disturbing everybody else. You also see over here, that's a porcelain foot flush stool and you see a wall heat vent because once again, this is a completely carpetless, ventless camper. So not only do we have really good, uh, like linen space already right here in the bathroom, but in the corner above the toilet, there's this extra little corner cabinet. And what I like about this, I think this is really cool for uh, like if you have extra body washes or shampoos or stuff. Triangle cabinets are kind of tricky to use in terms of like putting towels in them. But, you know, body wash containers, they're already rounded on the edges. They'll fit right in there lickety split. Flip it around the other direction, using that exact same cabinet now on the right side of our screen as a reference point. We're coming in from the hallway entry to the dual entry bed and bath. And one thing I want to point out is that is not a small sink. It's just a really big countertop. So you actually have a place to like keep your toothbrushes and stuff, uh, you know, sitting on the countertop instead of stuffing them always into the cabinet, which frankly, it's a pretty big cabinet. Large, easy step in radius shower. But at a glance, you're going to go, uh, I can't believe there's no skylight above that. There doesn't need to be. There's already a venting skylight directly above the toilet. We already saw that, actually. But this is a true toy hauler. It is extra tall. It, it, it does not need a skylight for a pretend headroom above the shower, which is literally the original reason skylights started being used in the RV business. Now, once again, because this is extra tall... <coughs> oh, pardon me. Sorry about that. I was trying to fight that off while I was talking, and I finally lost that battle. Anyway... Because the RV is extra tall, that means that they could have a uh, extra tall like wardrobe hanging closets, extra large overhead cabinet space, while still making sure you have enough clearance. If you want to sit right up on that bed and read a book or whatever, you can do so without banging your head on those cabinets. Um, as I mentioned previously, the, the four overhead lights in the main cabin here of the, uh, the, the ceiling of the bedroom have a light switch on the wall. But you've also got a pair of reading lights just above the bed, above those pillows right there. Uh, as we uh, look down, this being a 102 inch wide body means we have extra room to walk around the bed and extra large side stands. So, uh, you know, if you've got extra big, like, uh, stuff you like to put over here, you got a big CPAP machine, you got lights, fans, all that stuff, you could have a little shelf fan sitting right next to you just blasting you with air. I'm one of those people. I like to keep that air moving when I'm uh, sleeping. Plus, I like the noise of a fan. Anybody else like the noise of a fan? And finally, on the inside here, uh, uh, easy lift bed storage, but what's nice is it's completely separate from everything outdoors. And of all the things we've talked about, frankly, I think one of the best points on this floor plan is just that it has a full 
true underbed pass-through storage compartment. Plus, it has this extra large sort of uh, side pocket over here. You got some big totes or lawn games or something. You've got a huge space to put that stuff in there. Um, the uh, power awning here, easy tilt with LED lighting. And at a glance, you're like, they're, I can't believe it. They didn't put speakers on this thing. There's no outside speakers. They're actually built right into the awning itself. The idea there is that if you want to be outside listening to music, you'll probably have the awning open so those speakers will point down toward your campsite where you're not blowing away the neighbors. If you don't want to open the awning, you can always just crank up the volume and listen to some tunes. Crank it up to 11. Thank you. These are a 102 inch wide body, which is as big as anything can get before you have to put uh, wide low labels on it. Up on the tongue, uh, there is a simple side solar prep plug. Uh, on the roof, however, there's also roof solar prep. So this is dual solar prepped. You can build any sort of solar package you want, however is going to work for you. Um, like all Jayco trailers, this has that custom engineered chassis with that integrated A-frame. But up front here, this is kind of a neat special thing. They just do this kind of open cargo tray so that if you have a small portable generator or totes or you want a cargo box to hold your hitch when you're done with it or something, it's just neat that they give you that. But you might be asking, where does the battery go? Well, you see the opposite side of that pass-through storage compartment up front. Right behind that is another compartment. That's actually your battery compartment with room for two batteries to stuff in there if you are so inclined. Just a neat, different thing that they do on these uh, octanes. Now, as we uh, roll down the side here, right next to our black tank flush, we see a full outside shower. And that water heater, by the way, it's a six gallon vessel, but it gives us just shy of 18 gallons of hot water per hour because it's an auto ignition gas water heater and simultaneous use electric water heater to get that uh, you know heavier recharge capacity. Down below, you can option these with the enclosed heated belly like we've done here at Halid RV. This is our preferred build. It is possible one could come in otherwise, but this is how we like to build them. And we also get a good look here at those best in class Goodyear tires rated for 87 miles per hour. We are going to use that side mount always on uh, ladder to get up to the roof in just a minute. But first, quick look at a couple things here. The ramp patio party deck complete with those handy steps. We saw those in the travel position on the wall earlier, if you recall. Uh, also up here, they have a retractable screen wall option that we like to apply to these as opposed to the like roll down tent wall. It's just one solid thing. It kind of, it's easier to see out of and it's great if you are using uh, this as sort of like a back porch or if you want a, uh, you know, a three seasons room sort of feel in your RV. Uh, yeah, but you know, you don't like the bugs that come with those seasons. Now there's some, there's dual flood loading lights above that patio, which is cool if you're trying to load uh, your, your stuff up in the uh, mornings or the evenings, but also if you're hanging out on the porch in the morning or the evening, you can actually see what you're doing there. Similarly, uh, you've got those, uh, you know, lights under that power awning we already talked about. And it is worth mentioning, all of the windows on this are UV tinted and all of the tail lights uh, are LED. Well, all, all the lights, not just tail lights, but marker lights, clearance lights, everything, all LED on here. Now at a glance, it looks, you know, a little plain vanilla up here, but there's a couple things that you can't see I like to talk about on Jayco's. First of which is their Magnum Truss roof system. Basically, this roof is rated to hold more weight than anybody else in this category. Um, additionally, uh, we're walking on wide body plywood, which is something a lot of manufacturers won't do. Even manufacturers that use a lot of plywood, when they go wide body, they will stop doing it because the cost vector goes up on these. And I did want to get a good chance to show you, once again, you do have roof solar prep on this with plenty of wide open space here. If you wanna go build your own little uh, you know, solar array right here to keep yourself off grid. Now you're seeing a couple footprints on here, but you won't see those when you take the RV home, our first snow of the year. Ugh. <laughs> it happens every year. I know it's gonna happen. Doesn't mean I'm excited about it, but I like living in Michigan. We get all four seasons and we get them in very even quantities. It could be worse. There's definitely worse places to live. I, I there's, anyway, I'm not gonna get into that whole conversation, but the point is, we have a lot to choose from. They all have cool different benefits, advantages. Uh, you know, we are more than willing to take the time and effort to do these videos, let alone give our team a call. Imagine the kind of questions and the, and the links that we'll go to and how we'll bend over backwards to assist you. If you give us the opportunity to earn your business, 
And ladies and gentlemen, that is all we're asking from you. If you appreciate what we're doing here, hop on Google, Facebook, leave us a nice little review, and give our team here a call or an email and give them the chance to work with you. Doesn't matter if you're near, doesn't matter if you're far. If you don't buy from us, it's our fault. You know, that's, that's all I'm really asking for here. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.